Good afternoon all. Um, it's a rainy afternoon in November in northern Germany. I think we're here getting on. Um, we're video blogging the, the build of this boat. It's, she's a 32 foot cruising sailboat and, and we're making good progress. I'm pleased with progress. Um, the other thing we're doing, of course, I say we're video blogging. Um, I'm showing you the build, but also it takes a fair bit of time making these videos, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, and so we have a Patreon site. If you like what we're doing, um, yeah, consider giving us a little bit of appreciation on Patreon. That would be lovely. Uh, a dollar a month, something like that. Patreon works, you know, you, you pledge so much a month. And, and I've set it up so the pledges are, I believe, small, <laughs> potentially. And uh, yeah, if you like what we're doing, have a look. Good. Let's see what's going on this week. I thought I'd, I'd return... Just briefly to, to the question of a couple of weeks ago about the, the boat building skills. Um, because one of, the, one of the things, one of the reasons I'm making these videos is, is to try to encourage other people to, to build, to take on projects, to build boats. Um, and so boat building skills, briefly. Um, this is actually, this is the fourth boat I've built. So it's the first big boat. But um, boat building skills, I guess I learn and, and I recommend, you know, undertake some smaller boat projects. The first boat I built was, was the canoe that's up behind us there um, from a Selway Fisher set of plans. Um, built it in this very boat shed, actually. Then after that, Hazel and I built, a, built an optimist dinghy for her to, to learn to sail in. And then, um, you know, so they're both very, very small, very simple boats to build. Don't take too long, but you're learning boat building skills. Um, and then my mate Scott um, recommended building a, a, a Pelican. And the Pelicans are very similar. Well, it's halfway between an Optimist and one of these things, really. So very relevant boat skills from, from building something that size, 12 foot day sailor. You know, so I built one of those. And, and that's the thing. And so it's a progression. And I said a couple of weeks ago, I said, I said that I, you know, I don't really feel I do have boat skills, but uh, I shall qualify that because now having built this, it's not finished, but it's, it's well underway. Having built this, I do actually feel qualified to, to undertake a, a round bilged boat. Um, I'm not sure that I will. Um, I've got a set of lines, hand-drawn lines that Alan Farrell gave me of, of China Cloud. So if I ever build a, a round bilge boat, I'd probably build a China Cloud, but um, uh, I'm not saying I'm going to. But now, having built this, I, you know, and it's that progression, isn't it? Start with the, the canoe, with the plans and the set of building, uh, building instructions. We moved on to an Opti that we built of our own accord without any instructions at all. Um, I say, then on to the Pelican, and this is it's a progression through the things. And now I could undertake a, a round bilged boat. I'm, I'm confident I could. That's a lot of building. I'm not saying everybody needs to do that, but, but if you take on a smaller project first, I think the skills you learn from that are, are very useful. Thank you. 
So yeah, here's, here's one of those pumps. I'm just in the process of servicing. So I'll show you that quickly. Um, so first of all, this is the, the pump body. It's one piece, completely one piece, solid bronze. These are a little clean up, and these are going to give it a rub around inside the cylinder with some very fine wet and dry. But, and then a coat of paint on the outside. But as I say, solid bronze, beautiful. Magnificent piece of kit. This is the piston. Again, solid bronze with a um, possibly stainless pull rod, but the actual piston itself is solid bronze. We've got a, can you see that? A one-way valve there, look. See that at the top there? One-way valve. There's no rubber seal. It's just a conical bronze one-way valve. Um, I'm waving it around as though you may be able to see it. Anyhow, the bottom piece is this one here. Again, in there, a bronze one-way valve. No rubber seal, just seals on the conical seat. So it's all bronze, fantastic piece of kit. I really doubt you get them these days. Bottom screws on there. Hooked up to the to pub handles, pub pump handles. Basically speaking, when you pull the piston up in the cylinder, it pulls whatever, beer, in this case water, up through that one-way valve in the bottom, up and fills the cylinder beneath the piston. We then go down with it, one-way valve in the bottom shuts, one-way valve, as you push down, the one-way valve in the piston is opened, and that water then transfers to above the piston. Then we pull up one more time, and what's above the piston is then pumped out the outlet, at the same time charging, of course, underneath the piston. Um, a bit like a two stroke. Yeah, so it's beautifully simple. When they're up and you know serviced and together, there's almost nothing to go wrong. Brilliant piece of kit. And uh, I suspect you can't get this sort of quality these days. I know you can still get pub, obviously still get pub pumps, but I think they're made different. From what I make of it, they, they have rubber seals in them nowadays. I suppose they still work though. Lovely, ideal for a boat water pump. There we go, should be giving it service and, and make a video about that, I guess. Or show you it at the very least. Can you explain what you're doing? I can, yeah, this is, well this is wet and dry, so it's, it's, it's a very fine grit sandpaper. Not my usual 80 grit, this is a thousand I think. This is a thousand. Yeah, a thousand grit. And it's designed to be used wet or dry. That's just why it's called wet and dry. <laughs> and when you use it wet, it's, it's a bit finer, but what it also, it, it washes off whatever you've sanded off. And clearly with a thousand grit, you're not sanding much off. So it gives you a very sort of fine lubricated sanding effect. And so I'm just cleaning up the barrel of this, this cylinder. That's what I'm doing. As I said, it's a, it's a bronze cylinder and there's a bit of tarnish in there, a bit of green tarnish. I'm just trying to get that as clean as I can. And it's looking pretty good, I think. I'm just going to cross through that. Somebody's all nighty by the looks of that one. Mm -hmm. Evies. Nice. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. <sighs> when I was a kid, we used to go over to my my mum's uncle had a had a farm, I guess he was probably only a tenant to be honest. I don't know, maybe he owned it. And my dad used to go shooting over there and with a shotgun, rabbit shooting. 
I don't know if you remember, you know, I was only a, a toddler, but after he'd been shooting, he'd, he'd clean his gun, and this is the same sort of technique. You know, put a, a rag, he had a rag on a string that he drew up the barrel to, to clean it out. And that sort of reminds me of that. So that, I don't know if you can see anything in there, but it's, it's reasonable. Clean. Reasonable, yeah. Good. Then this is the piston. I'll just give it a bit of the same, same thing, it doesn't look particularly dirty. But... It's kind of important, oh, like a teacher on it, but to go round and round, not up and down. You don't want scratches up and down the direction of travel of the piston or the cylinder. So you go round and around. Not that you put very big scratches on there with a thousand grit wet and dry, but let's give it a go. Yeah, it's cleaned up reasonably well, isn't it? And you can, you can see it's not like it's perfectly clean, but you can see it's a bronze. That should slide that up and down in there, in theory. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's not bad. It wants to be a tight fit, otherwise it will leak.
something very exciting in the cellar. Let's have a quick look. Walk this way. Oh, we have glass fibre internet connection into the house. It's unfortunately not hooked up to anything. But hopefully the, the nice telecom people are coming soon to actually connect that to a router. And uh, we actually should have an internet that works in this village. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Well, it works, but it's extremely slow at the moment. Glass fibre in the house. Yee! Well, I guess that's it for this week. Uh, keep the end short. All that usual YouTube stuff, you know. Subscribe button and whatever. And uh, we'll be getting on and see you next time. Bye.